Hi, welcome to the Beechcraft King Air 260. My name is Thomas Deeker. I'm a demonstration pilot with Textron Aviation. I'm excited to walk you around the airplane today. Let's start right here with the door. To open it, we simply depress the pressure lockout button and rotate the handle. The door is on gas struts and it'll smoothly glide to its open position. Of note are the fully flat entryway stairs allowing ease of access for all types of passengers. Additionally, on this side, we can lower this armrest to allow easier access for bulky cargo items. As we walk down the wing here, we can talk about the flaps. Electrically driven, we have three positions, up, approach, and landing. One thing of note is our 200 knot initial approach flap speed limit. That allows us to stay fast and keep up with larger traffic in busy airspace. Additionally, when we do have full flaps, our rough speeds will be right around 100 knots. They often say that nothing flies like a Beechcraft, and the 260 is no exception. As we look up at the composite winglet, integrated to it are our navigation lights, which are all LED, as well as the strobes and recognition lights. The winglet not only adds to performance, but also gives it an unmistakable ramp appeal. Full fuel on the King Air 260 is a little bit over 3,600 pounds. We have four tanks on the airplane, the main tanks being on the outside of the wing, the auxiliary tanks being between the engine nacelle and the fuselage. If you fill the airplane full with fuel, you'll get a little over 1,700 nautical miles of range. Let's talk about anti-ice. On the leading edge of the wing and the horizontal stabilizer, we have pneumatic de-icing boots. And on the inlet of the engine, we have hot bleed air that's ratted from exhaust. We also have ice veins incorporated into the inlet. Now to select these anti-ice boots, the pilot simply selects the switch and the automatic timer will run them as appropriate. The King Air incorporates a dual main landing gear incorporating two tires for smoother rides on off-field operations such as dirt, gravel, and grass. The power plant here is the trusted PT6. This is the Dash 52 with 850 horsepower, all the way up to an ISA plus 37. Now what that really means with that ISA is that we can hold that full horsepower up into higher temperatures and higher altitudes than previous. We also have a ram air recovery system in the inlet there. That ram air recovery system allows more air into the engine and allows it to breathe better. It gives us the same value of torque with a lower ITT, allowing us to have more power for longer. The propeller here is the Hartzell four-bladed full composite propeller with a nickel leading edge. That nickel leading edge is to protect us from nicks and dings that the airplane might encounter on dirty ramps or off-field operations. We do have a fully feathering propeller here that does incorporate an auto feather system in the case of emergencies. Now for weather avoidance up front, we've got the Collins Multi-Scan Weather Radar. Now what that multi-scan does is it's constantly searching high, mid-level, and low, combining those scans to give me in the cockpit one image that I need to look at. It allows me to safely avoid weather. Now that's a great pilot workload reducer because I don't have to select any specific gain or tilt settings and I don't have to worry about what's ground and what's weather. Historically, the King Air has been a rugged and reliable airplane that we get to fly all over the world. It's one of my personal favorites to fly here at Textron Aviation, and I'm glad I get to do it on a daily basis. Thanks.